Hi everyone. Today on the first episode of Woody's DVDs, we are going to do a Blu-ray review on the 2007. Hey, what's that sound? Ah, ah, no. Wait. This is my show. I need to be hosting this. Why do you sound like you're eating food? Because I am eating food. Um, Oh, 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 mm -mm. Ah. <coughs> oh, rice. Um, anyway, today on uh, British DVDs Reviews, we are going to be showing you the 2007 DVD of, uh, I mean, Blu-ray of Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1. I can't speak today, so... Uh, mm, oh, mm. Uh, oh my god, I think he fainted. Well then, anyways, we're going to get on to the uh, unboxing and review on Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1. So this particular release only had like two uh, versions. The first version was in 2007, which oh, it had like a, it had like two separate releases. It had a DVD release and a Blu-ray release. This, this one I'm covering here is the Blu-ray release from 2007. And it was it went up for twenty nine ninety nine uh, according to that Best Buy sticker right there. The other version was from two thousand eleven two thousand twelve ish. I I think it might be two thousand twelve, but I'm not so sure. This version only had one particular release. It wasn't the separate Blu Ray and DVD thing that they did back in two thousand eleven. It was just a Blu-ray plus DVD pack. It had both discs from two thousand seven in there, but otherwise. There were only two releases. The rest of the releases from the Pixar short film scan only had like one release. So anyway, let's get into the unboxing part, which was done a few days before I actually filmed this. So let's go into the unboxing. All right, so today for the uh, DVD close-up, we are going to unbox alongside because I got this from eBay the day I filmed this, which was 20. So, here's how to open one of these eBay packages with these scam things. All you gotta do is this. Try and fill it in. Or with scissors, try and poke it. Because I'm trying to keep this package secure. So, yeah. I'm no good at opening DVDs myself. Ah, huh, here's the problem. It's sticked on with glue. <laughs> so, what you gotta do is cut the thing out. Try to lift every possible thing up. Ah. Try and lift it all up, like pop, like so. It's so stretchy. After you pull tightly enough, it will start to go loose. That's when you open it. Ha <laughs> ha Thus, it will reveal bubble wrap. See how big of a package this thing is? And then, it, it, you can see it's open from the inside. Oh, look at that. There's your boom ray right there. Right there, peeking in. Ah. And it's cardboard. Cut out. Inside is your Blu ray. Now I can throw all that stuff out. Here is what the 2007 graininess of the Blu ray looks like. As you can tell, since this is from 2007, we got a Best Buy sticker right here. The Best Buy. Look at, look at its 2007 quality. Look at its 2007. <laughs> yeah. And then 
Okay, so since this is one of the earliest Disney Blu-ray discs, you got this uh, Blu-ray rim right here. With the Blu-ray disc logo in the round ball right there. And then this subtitle saying Beyond High Definition HD Picture slash HD Sound. And then you also got this sticker right here saying that that's for HD TVs and for plays on Blu-ray players and PS3. Which of course, Blu-ray disc is a is an authorization from Sony. So of course they're gonna advertise PS3 here. And then right below it, it says to see specifications on the back, which it, they are on the back. And then above right here, see this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this because not only is it 2007, but it also features this Walt Disney Pictures Presents subtitle right here, which is not on later prints. It, later prints include just Disney thought Pixar, like the short films volume two, which I will be getting soon. And then here is the first ever block thing right here of the shorts. You got Luxo Jr. right here, Nick Knack right there, Fool the Birds right there, and Jerry's Game right there. <laughs> and then right down here, you got Pixar Short Films Collection. And then you got the Luxo Lamp right there, and Volume 1 right underneath it. The Luxo Lamp Pixar Short Films Collection, the bar, and all that are embossed. As you can tell from the side. And then right down here, we got the Disney Movie Awards participating title logo right there, which I do have Wally, and that's also a participating title. So, yeah. And then on the spine, we got more blue from the side, which that's honestly pretty cool. The Blu ray disc logo, not Disney Blu ray this time. Walt Disney Pictures Presents Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 1. The character profile of Luxo Jr. from the front cover. And then right below that, the Pixar logo. No animation studios, subtext for some reason. And the product number is 504601. And then the back. Got the specifications right here. With, this, with the video being in 1080p high definition. For both the shorts and the bonus features. Which are like a couple on here. The audio is in 5.1 or 2.0 on compressed, 48 KHC and 24 bit. Well, in 5.1 or 2.0 English. English, French, and Spanish 5.1 or 2.0 Adobe Digital. While the bonus features are just in 2.0. Now, and the subtitles are in English, SDS, French, and Spanish for the shorts, while the bonus features are just SDS. Right next to it, you got the bring the home, bring home the ultimate high definition experience. Right beside it being that Disney Movie Rewards little tab right there. There's another Disney Movie Rewards tab right there with its sealedness. And then right down here, you got the bonus features. The bonus feature with the mic right there. The bonus features that are listed here are the, is Pixar shorts thing or. They tell you a lot about the shorts and how the secrets and stories behind the shorts are with John Lasseter and all that stuff. And then you got the audio commentaries and more. Quick note here, for all the short films, all of them have commentaries except for Jack Jack Attack. I don't know why they didn't put a commentary for Jack Jack Attack, but probably because it wasn't on the 2005 DVD. And Boundin's audio commentary was on the 2005 DVD, so yeah. The more stuff, or I think, are the Sesame Street, the two hidden Easter eggs, and the and the Luxo Junior pencil test. I don't know if those Easter eggs are actually on this disc, but I can tell they might not be. And then you got the short film selection, the the short film listing right here, and then you got the the blurb about your shorts. Disney Blu-ray is magic in high definition. <gasps> That's the subtitle. And then you got a screenshot from Lifted, a screenshot from One Man Band, and a screenshot or promotional image from Bounden. And then you also got a promotional image from Andre and Wally B. And then right there is the Pixar Short Films logo in red. And then as you can tell, there's this Blu-ray rim and such. Which, if I get, like, a early Blu-ray from 2006 from Disney, you can tell that it will have this thing, like, all over it. For more information, please visit DisneyBlu-ray.com. Well, that site might be defunct, so I won't. 
Then you got the Pixar logo with the subtitle this time, and you can see it. Walt Disney Home Entertainment, Blu-ray disc, region free, St <coughs> Dolby Digital, and this no copying disc thing. And then right down here, you got your info about it being Canadian Home Video Rating G, that it's being a 2007 Blu-ray release, a 2007 copyright, the Disney Movie Awards codes, I, it, it's like, which are inside, I think. So, and then the running time for this is 54 minutes. It's in color and it's digitally mastered. And then you've got the copyright for the 1984 for Andre and Ollie B for Pixar and Lucasfilm. All the rest are just copyright Disney Pixar. Pixar Shorts copyright 2007. And then there's that little code right there. A little mini code saying one M one three three nine. Yeah, as I think that happens. And then the side is just the same. And then if we take this out, we gotta take this out carefully now because this has never been unslipped. So here. Okay, now that Blu-ray was so tight <laughs> that that was tight. Yeah, they, it's not like my other colors where it just slips, but it's very tight. This slip cover from 2007, that's very tight rather than my other ones. <laughs> anyway, so the Blu-ray disc looks the same, and as you can see, back in 2007, they did not edge this properly. I don't think they did, but I'll be keep, I'll be probably be keeping the way it is. And on second thought. I'm thinking that this didn't get sealed in the first place because it just might be the sticker that made it sealed. Let's see if we can open this. Ah, so it hasn't been it hasn't been sealed. That's strange. Also, it's just a factory here. Hmm. But the only thing that isn't that th this is sealing this. So. I'll be right back. Okay, after 10 seconds of opening this, it looks like it opens for the first time. And there is Disney Movie Awards in here. What do you guys say? Now, the Blu-ray, uh, if I tilt it turnly carefully, this is what the Blu-ray looks like. The Blu-ray, it, it looks like the usual split, but the split this time is in full. The, the Blu-ray thing that would usually be like right here is all on the disc. There's like no, there's nothing else but that rim. But on the rim, you got like a bunch of stuff on there. You got that Walt Disney Picture subtext, the logo. You got the big Lux of lamp that was from the front cover. The Pixar logo with the subtitle text, the Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo, technical assistance, the Canadian home video ratings with the French Canadian M12. A, the stock number of 54601. Blu-ray logo yet again, and all that subtitle text. Hey, look at that. Backwards, one, nine, two, eight, three. And right there, you got a little, I think, a security code. Because, because I got this off, off eBay. And uh, I don't think he ever opened this disc before. Because of how this thing wasn't ripped before. So, yeah. And then you got the bonus stuff, which when you look at this, this is an early Disney movie reward code right here. The earliest one goes back to Cars, I believe, since it debuted around the time Cars came out. Disney movie rewards logo. I will use this code. Let's We'll see if this code works. And then the other thing that comes attached with this is this Disney Blu-ray promo. The Disney Blu-ray promo is somewhat interesting because it lists you the earliest Blu-rays that have been released. You got Pirates of the Caribbean 1 through 3 at the time, Ratatouille, Cars, Meet the Robinsons, High School Musical 2 Extended Edition, Bridge to Terabia, Invisible, Invincible, Rovi Mars, Apollo, and the Santa Claus, The Escape Clause 3. Yeah, and then you got this some boring stuff right there. And then you got the little message right there saying to visit blu-ray.com or stuff like that also another thing to note that there's artwork on the back you got that short film selection thing right there 
And right there is the UFO and the house from Lifted. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. So now well, let's go into the Blu-ray menu. All right, so here is your Blu-ray tower of the Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1. As you can see, this takes place in a movie theater. Well, Pixar's movie theater, of course. As you can see, since this is the Blu-ray release, it looks very different. And the exit right there is not an exit. Anyway, here we go. Play all will lead you into these shorts. And going above one of them, it will take you to like the commentary or something. Click and play all will play all the shorts and uh, give you an option to turn on the commentary or not. The bonus features on here are the Pixar shorts of Short History, Sesame Street Surprise, Sesame Street Right and Heavy, Sesame Street Up and Down, and Sesame Street Front and Back. Now these are actually interesting. Now about these shorts, these shorts were on a couple of episodes of Sesame Street, thus explaining why this looks like it's recorded off of a freaking VHS. And these shorts were animated by Pixar. Of course, on the Made in Point Richmond DVD, these are in better quality than what they look like right now, but they probably had like a budget for this Blu-ray, so that's why it looks like it's burned from like a VHS. Also at the end of each one, there's these copyrights. These copyrights at the end, which are hard burned. And then in the setup, you got audio options and subtitles. English, you got English 5.1 Dolby Digital, French 5.1, and Spanish 5.1, with an English 5.1 uncompressed track, too. I don't know about the uncompressed one. For subtitles, you got none, English for the hearing impaired, French, Spanish, and none, of course. So, I don't know if there are any Easter eggs on this Blu-ray menu. Yes, there are Easter eggs on this disc. Above Luxo Jr., you get the lamp. Click Click enter, and you'll get a pencil test of the original Luxo Jr. right here. Above Red Dream, there'll be a flag. With a flag, this will lead you into going and uh, watching flags and waves. Which is just a little test for the water and such. Just look at the water. That's what it would look like in Finding Nemo. It's above Nick Knack in Jerry's game. Go above. Click enter, and now you're getting beach chair. Ugh, suspenseful. Anyways, guys, that was the Blu-ray menu for Pixar Short Films Volume 1. Now, uh, let's go on to the actual review of if I recommend this or not. So this particularly says, uh, 10 out of 10 for me. I love the Pixar shorts, and I love how... They have a little Pixar short thing, the documentary and all that stuff. They also have audio commentaries. Note, again, like I said earlier, there is no audio commentary for Jack Jack Attack. So do not expect it on any of the releases here. But uh, it's pretty much a good release. And with the Easter eggs and all that uh, that are hidden on the, there too, it's honestly pretty uh, cool to see it. Anyways, guys, uh, again, this is a 10 out of 10 for me, and, uh, I hope you guys liked it. I, uh, it, particularly, I loved enjoying this Best Buy exclusive release. It's not Best Buy exclusive, it's just a sticker. And the version, if you want to buy this, this version, go on eBay. If you want the original 2007 version, go on eBay. If you want the newer version that's being made at nowadays, go to, like, Amazon.com or ShopDisney.com because that's likely where you're going to find it. But if you want a 2007 version, find this sticker right here. Or this subtext right here, which this was changed to Disney Pixar on later releases. Even better if it has this thing right here, that's an early release. So anyways, that was a Woody DVD review. Have fun and see you later. Time for me to play Fortnite again. Uh, what is this? What is this? Wait a minute, this ain't Pixar!